bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Hey, this is Tamara signing on with some more Spyro Reignited. Okay, so last time we took on just two more levels. We took on uh, doo -doo -doo, Dark Hollow and Town Square. Yeah, Town Square. I'm going at the levels two at a time and including the hub world and other stuff. So we got two more levels in the artisan world and then we can move on. So we got Sun Sunny Flight, which is a flying stage. So it's different from your normal platformer stage and then the boss world or boss stage. So we're going to do this one first. <clears throat> Sorry. Entering Sunny Flight. The flying stages weren't my favorite levels in when I originally played the Spyro games. Not that there was anything really particularly wrong with them, I just didn't gel with them. But this shouldn't be too bad. Basically, we fly in, we gotta destroy and go through certain things. For the map, it might be a little easier. Like, for instance, we gotta cut across two trains. I think I'm doing this in the wrong order already. We kinda got. Whoop. We gotta cut across trains and destroy their cargo. Whoops. Crap. I messed up. Uh, where's the... Is there a reset button? I think that's a retry button. I don't remember. There was an optimal order and I don't remember what it was, so I'm just gonna go for it. Got both of them. Oops. You gotta do this all in a time limit. You do more objectives. You, da, da, da. you get a little more time, but only so much. Crap, I keep missing that one. What the hell? Okay, I'm falling a bit behind time. I don't think I'll make it, but try it again. I think there's four sets of things, and this is so far three. So it's the fourth again. I don't remember. Oh, right. Four plane er, planes. Uh, where the heck is the... Yes! Got it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. They get a little hard. They get progressively harder as you go, but it's not that bad. Um, yeah, really nothing to gain. Just for gems. So we're done. Alright, that went a little bit smoother than I thought. Just took me a minute. Just flying around basically burning or running past stuff, so not too difficult, but you gotta watch it. 100% level complete. Okay, now all that's left is the boss stage. Get out of here. <clears throat> too toasty. The bosses are really nothing, so this shouldn't be too hard. Well, it won't be hard at all. Confronting Toasty. I'll show him Toasty. <laughs> Poor dogs. Ow. 
Yeah. Whoa. Right, dogs are a little tougher. Probably got him twice. Either way. Uh, gotta watch it. Sparks is already running on low. Now with no sparks, I gotta be a little more precise when it comes to my collecting. Rescue Nevid. I see there was another path, but I want to try and get sparks back. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. All dragons found. He was the only one. There is no sheep or anything to cook here. Okay. Just gotta do the collecting the old-fashioned way. Whoop. Is there only a hundred gems here? Yep. Just gotta watch myself. Yeah, you just gotta hit him a few times with your fire breath and he's done for. Crap. Okay. Wasn't prepared. I actually should I should try charging the dogs. Does that work? Reigniting. Okay. It does not work. Okay. There's a big mean goat in that coat. Goat in the coat. There he goes. He's hobbling off. Burnt toast. Yep, that's it. That's a that's a original Spyro the Dragon boss. It's not that much. 100% complete. I want to see it pop up first. There we go. <clears throat> All right, and that is the Artisan World wet 100%. And we're at a thousand gems. And boy, those two levels, and I only just hit the eight-minute mark. Oh, man, I should go on a bit longer. I don't know. But then again, it feels very concise. That's it. And that's the Artisan World. I did have to look it up, but I looked it up just in case. But yeah, that's it. That's all there is for this world is just six levels. And that's it. Okay, we can now move on to the next world. The so balloonist is this way. We got more than Whoa. ten dragons. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yep, let's go go to the Peacekeeper's world. Just bop on his head. Boom! Is that a Skylander's joke, actually? <laughs> I think it might be. Okay. So, yeah, that was World 1 of Spyro. So, this is already going along pretty quick. I had a couple of hang-ups, but I'm getting the groove in. I'm starting to remember some of the secrets. I'm starting to learn how I can use things to my advantage. This is going well, I think. And what's good is that, you know, there are no upgrades or other abilities to get over time or anything. So you can just keep on going. You know, you can just... If you can go to the world, you can do everything there without needing anything from anywhere else. And that's just really nice. Okay, we're just gonna pop in. Because we need a save spot. Rescued Titan. 
Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. I'm like peacekeepers. Uh, warlike. I guess that makes sense, considering. Blech. I just want to see how this looks. This actually looks nice for a desert area. With cannons. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to call it... Yeah, we're going to call it there. Hi, Spyro. Oh, yeah, we can replay dragons. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to stop here. We're going to keep... Well, I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to do two levels per thing. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to wrap up here for right now. And next time, we will continue on through the Peacekeeper's world. We're going to do the hub level, and then we'll do an extra level, and then we'll work from there. All right. This is going to be fun. It's been fun. Well, this is great. <laughs> all right. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.